I love learning. It's kind of like my crack. I cannot resist downloading a freebie or signing up to a free webinar because I think that learning more is going to make me a better marketer, right? Well, kind of. The problem is as an entrepreneur, we only have a finite number of hours in the day as well as a finite amount of space in our brains to actually take in all this information. So if you're downloading freebies all the time, are you actually really taking anything in or are you just, you know, getting information overload? So in this video, I'm going to share five tips to learning um, as a business owner, how you can learn the best way you can to ensure that anything that you are taking into your brain and taking the time to learn is going to actually move the needle in your business. Hello, I'm Kate Emily and welcome to my channel. I'm a brand and content strategist who loves helping small businesses just like you build their brands online. So hands up if you ever feel like you take on too much. Mine is up so damn high because I am continuously taking on more and more and more because I'm pretty optimistic like that. This is probably one of the fundamental reasons why I'm always late to everything. Just ask my hubby. But can taking on too much be actually so detrimental to your business? And in the space of learning, I think it definitely can be. Maybe you're like me and have downloaded countless freebies that you never look at again, uh, signed up to a million and one different email lists promising to teach you something great, or you've RSVP'd to so many webinars that are just so long-winded and take up so much of your time. And while yes, the information is great, it's not really what you need in your business right now. So this is where the whole idea of just-in-time information comes in, as opposed to just-in-case information. So understanding the difference is key. Well, I'm not saying don't download any freebies um, because freebies are a great source of amazing information and resource. In fact, I do have a freebie that you might like, which is just down in the description box below. Um, but if you are feeling this overwhelm and you're just having too much information going into your head, then these five tips are gonna be for you. Number one is to write down three goals at the start of each month for your business. Then when a freebie comes your way, assess, does it fit with the goals? Is it actually gonna move you in the right direction or is it just gonna confuse you and add to your information overwhelm? Number two is if you are reading a freebie or watching a freebie, give it all your attention. So while yes, it's free, it doesn't mean you should just give it a half ass attempt at your attention because the problem with that is it's just gonna waste your time because you're spending a little bit of time doing this, a little bit of time on Instagram, and you're not really capitalizing on that time spent and actually learning anything from the content. Number three is to allocate an hour or so each week to personal development. So if any freebies or opportunities come up, save them into a, a file or a note and make sure that you just use this dedicated time for looking at those freebies. That way, as soon as they pop up throughout your day, you're not being distracted from what you're actually trying to get done. Number four is actually implement what you've learned. So if your goal is to action at least one thing from every freebie that you receive, you become way more selective with the types of freebies that you opt in for, as well as the quantity that you go for. And it will start making you think, is this actually a freebie that's going to benefit me right now? Or is this something I could learn about in the future if that is a problem that arises for me? If there's something you really want to learn, pay for it. There's this whole notion, if you pay, you pay attention. Because if you've actually forked out money to do a course or to be a part of a program, then you're gonna pay way more attention than to a freebie, plus the content in paid courses and resources like that are gonna be of much higher quality and actually give you all the answers rather than giving you a bit of a taste or a teaser into what you know, their, their courses are gonna be about. I've downloaded countless freebies on my journey as an entrepreneur, which 
let's be honest, most of them haven't even been open. They're just sitting in my downloads box and have never seen the light of day. So if you love learning as much as I do and want to actually really develop yourself, then spend your time wisely. I highly recommend making sure that any learning that you do is super relevant to the goals that you want to achieve. So then you're actually only attracting information that is going to actually help you in your business rather than distract you and get you onto a completely different tangent. My favorite resource to use is udemy.com because you can literally learn about everything. I've learned courses from email marketing to copywriting to Italian to fashion design. Like you can literally do a bit of everything and you can learn what you need to learn right now and the best bit is there are even courses for as little as ten dollars so you don't have to be paying thousands and thousands of dollars every time you opt for a paid uh, course or a paid resource you can opt for a cheaper option at least that way to get started and it's going to be something that's a lot more valuable than a free resource. And by the way, this is no way sponsored by Udemy. It's just a resource I've been using for a long time and I thought I'd like to share it with you. Okay, so promise me, next time you're scrolling through Instagram and a freebie pops up as an ad or as a post from someone that you follow, assess whether this freebie is actually gonna move you in the right direction towards achieving your goals. Promise me that because it's gonna help you so much with your time management and ensuring that you're not just getting distracted by shiny objects, which I know a lot of us entrepreneurs do. But if you'd like to learn a bit more about productivity, then I have a video which is all about uh, how to be more productive and how to get more done, which features eight tips that you're gonna be able to use straight away in your business. So go and watch that one now if that's something that interests you. Otherwise, if you're new here and you love this video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button and comment below if you have any questions about learning or any other um, teaching skills or uh, tips or anything like that, because I'd love to help answer them. So that's it for me for today. So I'll be back here next Tuesday with another video I know you're gonna love. So until next time, bye for now.